Hello everyone, I have a question. Do you know of any other letter in the New Testament that gets to an amen in less than five verses? Well, I have found one that gets there in five verses from the beginning. Amen, Sila Shua. So be it, think upon salvation five. Paul an apostle, not by not of men, neither by men, but Lord God Jesus Christ, God El Father, X out and it's all one, whether you believe it or not. Spiritual revelation will tell you it's all out from one. Who raised him from the dead. Who's the him? The Lord God, Jesus Christ. God El Father. You trying to tell me that God raised himself? Yes. It's hard to believe. But the power, the authority, the glory raised the vessel, the host the human body from the grave, spirit life, Holy Spirit life re-entered the image, the one person in the Godhead, the deity power and authority re-entered and turned back on or modified and made a new glorious body to come out of the grave. Hmm. That's verse 1. Raised him from the dead. That's the second half of thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.9 You believe enough to confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. There's five verses there, but in that one verse there's two parts. Step 1, step 2, thou shalt be saved. And thou shalt be saved comes up in a couple of more verses, again, the second time for a true witness. Talk about Romans 10, 9. Verse 2. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches or the elect called out. I'm writing over the top of churches. Elect called out. Joint heirs. Elect called out joint heirs. Well, there's a couple of teachings right there. Of the Galatians. But remember this, in 2 Timothy, all Asia is turned away from me. Galatia is in the middle of Turkey, in the middle of Asia, or on the west half of Asia. Asia Minor is west of Asia. Within a hundred miles of the west coast of Turkey is Asia Minor, where the seven churches are on the trade route to Troas. Chapter 1, verse 3 of Galatians. Grace be to you in peace. From God, El Father. Put L over the top of the. From God, El Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself ransom for life. And then where it says sins, I put spirit souls. The blood was dealt with sin. He himself, forerunner, went in dealing with the ransom payment for life, eternal life for your spirit soul in a new glorious body. Grace be unto you in peace from God, El Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. That was verse 3, verse 4 who gave himself a ransom for life, spirit soul, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God, El Father, cross out, and. See, the and is trying to make a plurality out of the one. Something and, that and that. It's all one. 
Check this out. Fifth verse of chapter 1 of Galatians. To whom be glory forever and ever. There's two V's there. V, 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 or Vet. Third letter of the sacred name, Yava. If there's big debate in your mind over Yahweh or Yava, let's throw out the, the, the division and just go with Yah. Hallelujah. Praise ye God. Short form name of the Father and the Son is identical. One name, Yah. Y-A-H. To whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Sila Shua. I don't know if there's another letter in the New Testament that goes four, four verses and gets an amen. There might be. I'm asking a question. Maybe you know. I'm going to get my concordance out or go through the New Testament and see if there is. Five verses to an amen in and that's the name of the teaching in Galatians. Love you. Bye.